score is built in sort of an ABA format. Um, it's very loose. It was it's it's constructed more out of out of uh, cells of notes rather than uh, a, a key structure. But I really wanted to have a certain ideas um, come up again and again. So the opening idea of this steady pulsing eighth note uh, comes is uh, the key moment. That's sort of the tune, if, if there is a tune, and it comes back with some force at the very end. Uh, there's also a fanfare pattern where the, the brass in particular take over a dun 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 dun, dun uh, pattern, and that appears at various times to sort of hold the thing together. Um, I wanted a bit of a tribute to John Adams, who was a minimalist composer who I was listening to quite a bit that summer. And there's a moment where the brass come in with a, a pounding quarter note idea, uh, which is lifted from John Adams' Harmony Lara piece. And it was meant to be, it was meant to be a piece that has dramatic moments as well as a fairly subdued middle section, which then builds to the return. Uh, so there's lots of little things that, that I really enjoy uh, hearing in the piece. I can mention, it's probably happened to a lot of things, it's just dynamics. When you take out, uh, I mentioned previously this piece is uh, in a style called minimalism, which means you, you do try to do a lot with a very little, tiny little bit. Um, when you take out elements of music, like uh, melody, <laughs> um, you have to make do with, you have to put more weight on the other elements of music. So this one relies more on rhythm and texture and dynamics. So if, if you take away the melody and then you decide you're not going to play the dynamics and the rhythm might be questionable and there's not much left. So uh, if, if we can get as many of those things in as possible, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. The concept of score is that it's built out of the number 20. So I was trying to find opportunities to utilize the number 20. <laughs> Stefan's score was um, a bit more blunt, like it had a bit more of a, a celebration, spectacular feel to it, but in the end you found all the intricacies too and um, it, it came across as being, it was so multi-depth, it had so many, it had so much depth to it that it was really an interesting piece. Um, Stefan's composition was probably one of the most difficult ones that we've had to do because it was so different. It was very um, modern, which a lot of our um, people probably haven't seen before. I decided to put a piece on the program uh, myself because I felt I was asking some band members to uh, put some pen to paper and I thought it might be hypocritical if, if I was asking them to exercise their creative powers and not do it myself. Uh, I also have an interest in composition and I'll admit it is kind of nice to have a group that will 
play whatever I write for them just because I'm the conductor and I get to choose what they get to play. But it was primarily an opportunity to do something for the group and to have a piece that I could share with not only as the conductor but also as a composer. And I had some ideas on how I might work in the concept of the number 20 uh, that had been um, in my mind for the past couple of years. And I thought this is something that, that would be worth doing. And uh, I was very pleased with the result. I was very happy with the, the way the composition itself turned out. And I was uh, happy to have it so that it's a part of the band's history.